Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, you may have heard me rant and rave about this algorithm before, but it's so cool, it's worth doing an entire video about it. We're talking about an algorithm called seam carving. Seam carving is something that is present in, well, the image editing world for the most part, and it does one simple thing very well. It is to be able to, well, non-uniformly resize an image and still have it look right. This algorithm was originally designed in the context of responsive design. That is, well, you see pages like, say, Wikipedia, which, well, essentially resizes and rearranges itself when you're viewing it on, well, a device that has a different size. Even though different things sort of flow around each other and rearrange themselves, images stay the same. If you have an image that's of a certain size, it stays that way. So it was originally proposed that what we can do is we can you know, use a smart method to rescale an image so that it looks right, no matter its aspect ratio. This is huge because essentially what you can do is you can say, well, take a squarish image, stretch it out, and it will still look fine. This is the magic of seam carving. And as it turns out, it's ingenious also because of its simplicity. Here's how this algorithm works. I'm going to explain it in the context of, well, horizontally squishing an image, but you can basically extrapolate from this to the other methods. So here's the idea. If I were to squeeze an image, essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to remove vertical lines from the image. If you were to do it, you know, just naively, then everything gets squished, right? And proportions of things go weird. The idea behind seam carving is that we want to find lines that we can remove that will have a minimal impact on, well, the visual quality of the image. And that is where the notion of seams come into play. Essentially, a seam is a jagged line, right? And in the context of, you know, the kind of operation we want to do, it starts from the top, and it sort of works its way down to the bottom of the image. The idea is that we want to find one such line that has the minimal impact. When we've found that line, we remove it, and the rest of the picture fits back together like a jigsaw puzzle. The magic is in how we find that line, which uses a simple dynamic programming solution. So here's how this works. Start at the top. For the topmost line of pixels, we compute the energy for each pixel. The energy is defined as how different a pixel is from its neighbors. So, well, if we were to look at, say, a wash of blue sky, then the pixels have pretty low energy because all the pixels look similar. Whereas if you're looking at, say, trees, then yeah, the difference is greater. When we go down to the next row of pixels, we do the same calculation, but this time we need to add it to the energy that has been accumulated from above. Each pixel has three neighbors to look for, so we go for the neighbor that has the minimal energy. Repeat this process going down. Essentially, we're accumulating the energy values as we move from top to bottom, and when we finally hit the bottom row, we go left to right to look for, essentially, the pixel that has the least energy. Then, we simply trace our way up. Since every pixel pulls its energy from one of the above neighbors and then sums its own energy down, you can essentially find a line of minimal energies to traverse through. That gives you your seam, which you can then remove. The same applies for expanding, right? Essentially, you find a seam of minimal energy and then you duplicate that. Um, if you're going vertically, then you start from the left and you go towards the right. So yeah, a very simple solution to do something that looks pretty amazing. Now, I'm not sure about Photoshop, but you can actually download this for GIMP, which is called Liquid Rescale. And yeah, if you use this, essentially, well, you can start scaling your images non-uniformly in a way that generally does not distort, well, the nice proportion of things. So a very, very cool algorithm, definitely worth playing around with just to see what effects you can achieve. The ability to sort of retarget everything in a picture and still have it look great allows you to basically edit images to your heart's content, right? Sometimes our camera has a fixed aspect ratio and it doesn't really give you the look you want. Liquid Rescale helps you with this. And now you know why exactly it's able to do that. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612TV with nerdfirst.net.
Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.